Hey, what's up? I'm Jared, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a product that I got super cheap off Etsy that's gonna help wedding filmmakers with terrible reception and ceremony audio. Now this band is super cheap and definitely something you could DIY and make yourself, but I think for me, it was just easier to just buy this online and help out another creator. Now, essentially, Wedding Film Tools makes multiple different bands for different microphones, all ranging from the little stick Sony microphones, like the pocket recorders, to the Rode Wireless Go mics, as well as the DJI mic, which is what I use and I decided to purchase for. So why do you need it? Well, a lot of times in ceremony and receptions, you know, we want to have multiple versions of audio, clean audio, and just a backup, just in case one of those clean audio feeds, something happens or the mic crackles out, stuff like that. It happens, you could be prepared for it all and something crazy will happen. Now I've had it before where I plugged in my XLR and I was in a rush, didn't put my headphones on and test the mic. I just saw audio levels and went with it. Now I found out the hard way that Yep, I only had the music and none of the speeches audio cleanly from the microphone that they were using. And this is where something like this little band would come in clutch big time. Another reason why I think this is super important for solo filmmakers is that it's super easy and cheap. I spent $20 on this and it's arrived in about a week off of Etsy. And there's so many different options for different kind of wireless mics. Sony, the pocket recorders, there's options for just about anything. As well as this is a DIY project. If you know how to use a sewing machine, this is something you could make on your own. All you need is a short strip of a rubber, like a elastic band kind of material and to make it the right size for the mic and then you'll be good to go. And to use these bands, there is no instructions inside the package, but it's super easy to figure out because you put the mic, you want it nice and snug around the microphone. So you put the mic in the smaller loop and then your wireless microphone on the outside loop clip and make sure it's inside so that the black band keeps it kind of discreet. It's super easy to use. It's a little finicky the first time you try it, but trust me, once you get it on once, it's not coming off. As you can see, um, I shook the crap out of this thing and it did not budge at all. You didn't feel it sliding or anything. So I don't think there'll be much rustling noise or anything if someone's messing around with it. Now I'm gonna play a little audio clip. I didn't record video of it, but I'm kind of holding the mic at my chin and then as well at the top of my stomach. We've all had those dads that stand up there that hold the mic at their belly and talk and the audio ends up being really quiet or noisy. So a little test there of just me holding it low and high just to see what the results are like. Yeah, check, check, one, two. This is someone that holds their mic way close to their mouth and then someone that holds it at their chest with a lot of background noise. It's, uh, it's quite low down. I'm the person that kind of waves it around. Check, check, you might hear the background noise. This is, uh, this is, about belly height, you know, that dad that, that doesn't like to hold it up to their mouth and just kind of blabs and swings it around a little bit. And uh, then when you hold it close to your mouth and like someone puts it on their chin, probably sounds really nice. Um, it's kind of facing out um, from, it's not, it's not directly in front of my mouth, it's not at my chin side, it's definitely out to the side talking and yeah this is the first kind of test with it like this recording directly to the dji mic now obviously the downside to this well i've had it before where the officiant just doesn't hold the mic up there's an issue with the mic and they end up not using it at all so that is the only issue with this but again if they keep it in their hand it's still close enough audio to the three people up at the front that you might be able to use something from it now, if something like that happens, that's where you have your backup audio, whether it's on the bride or the groom, and just backup options for everything, hopefully. Now, the reason why I think this is so valuable is because most people already have these mics and adding this product is only $20. So I right away got four 
because if I'm going to spend the $20 and the money on shipping, I'm going to get a bunch and keep them in my bag for whenever I need them. Now, obviously, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm curious to see what people will do when they see this on the mic because it does stick out a little bit. And with the DJI mic, there's a flashing light on it. So I'm curious to see if people will get like kind of freaked out by it or whatever, or like touch the thing because it's a lump on there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna find out. I have a wedding in a week or two here where I'm gonna see what happens and how clean it comes out. So yeah, in conclusion, I think this is such an important piece for solo and non-solo wedding filmmakers for something to keep in their bag that's super cheap, lightweight, small, that can really level up your game when it comes to getting clean audio and making better wedding films. If you like this video, subscribe for more and like this video or comment any questions you have or visit the link below to look at wedding film tools, different options for different mic sleeves and other products. Thanks. Peace.